This is my buddy Dave Voisey. For a little more than a decade, I've watched Dave evolve into a remarkable bow hunter, as well as pass the great heritage of hunting on to his two kids. Yes. Yes. Dave loves to capture the thrill of the hunt for himself and others behind the camera. He has utilized this passion and talent to build a successful production company through which he gets to share it with the world. Dave has taken some giant bucks, and this year his desire is no different. He has had one deer on his mind since early summer, a giant eight with matching kickers coming off his G2s, and a beautiful drop time to boot. Our target buck is under a tree stand right now, and we're getting ready to head out. I love how I brought a knife thinking that I'd be uh, tagging a deer tonight. If I wasn't so obsessed with giant deer, I would have shot that buck in a heartbeat because he's beautiful. He's what every hunter wants to shoot, a beautiful buck. But I'm just too obsessed with antler. That being a drop down antler. So, yeah, it was awesome, good encounter. Ben Steiger is one of those guys that if he finds something he loves, he wants to share it with everyone he knows. Ben loves to hunt, so every opportunity he gets to take his family, his friends, or someone new, you can guarantee that he's going to. The arrow goes on the bow underneath the, the knock indicator. Odd color feather facing out. He also loves the sport of archery and has built up an organization that teaches the sport to youth around the world. Woo! All that being said, Ben has killed some big bucks and is always up for the challenge of harvesting a big mature white tail. Over the last four years, he's been chasing a world-class giant whose rack is sporting some thick palmations, long tines, kickers, stickers and drops. Truly the buck of a lifetime. This season, he's not willing to settle for anything less. He might not have been the 150, maybe 135, 140. I don't know, those brow ties were huge. Oh, goodness, I love this, this is awesome. Entering a challenge like this isn't for the faint of heart. We don't hunt for a living, nor do we own large tracts of land. The pressure on these bucks drive them to be nocturnal beasts, making them almost impossible to kill. To be all in requires a significant commitment and the ability to manage a mental game as well. Good frosty Friday to you. Come on, old drop time. We're ready for you. November 26. It is. What is it about the challenge of harvesting a giant whitetail that lures us in? Is it pride, arrogance, a claim to fame? Are we just some egotistical deer killers? For Dave and I, it's about something different. We recognize that we were created with a desire for adventure and a desire for challenge. As the years have gone on and our skills have been honed, we desire greater challenge. Sometimes that's in the form of large antlers, and sometimes it revolves around the tools and tactics of the hunt at hand. Other times the challenge doesn't revolve around our success, but instead the success of others. It's much more about the process, 
in the proverbial truth that the trophy on the wall is only as good as the story behind it. Certainly, the purpose of hunting revolves around the harvest of meat. But for us, it's about the process within the challenge that keeps us coming back season after season. <laughs>